So guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about the leadership contest. And Kia Starmer has won to nobody's fucking surprise. <laughs> oh god. Really? Really guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell imagine the boys in the fucking office thinking right we can get some ladies onto the job now we can get some of the queens to do the thing every upper party has been able to do this so far SMB uh, SMB Tories Lib Dems Greens Abdi else so, we should be alright to get a Labour one. <laughs> Fuck goes the progressive narrative. <laughs> nah, nah, definitely not them fucking do anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I thought this was maybe more funnier. So guys, Keir Starmer won the uh, leadership contest. And he fucking destroyed the other two. And thank fuck. Well... Not really, but Labour's dis demise will happen just a bit slower than it would have been done by Rebecca Long Bailey, which would have just fucking destroyed itself, which is just Jeremy Corbyn in a fucking skirt, and Lisa Nande, the one who wants to activate for activists for trans women in jail cells. Or Keir Starmer, the Lamina. So, what sounds like the best choice? And funny enough, the... Well, honestly, I don't really mind Keir Starmer. It's the other two that pisses me off. If you saw my last video when I went nuts at Lisa Nande for what she was on about, the... She that that stupid fucking campaign where she was on about the... Woman who... No, sorry, men who call, call themselves trans women or... Tr woman before they get arrested put in cell should be put into a woman's cell something around that word and it was still fucking stupid and the becca she was just really radical wasn't she i mean she was basically just jeremy corbyn but she supported jeremy corbyn which isn't a good idea for the labor party um we at this case, I don't know who else is in the party or who's the seating in the cabinet or that, but I guess it's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, Labour's dem demise will fucking diminish really, really fucking quickly, but we've been given a little time slot for this to happen. So let's see how bad um, all these people went, because it couldn't have been that bad, right? So here's what the final results came to be, as this guy can't speak. Rebecca Long Bailey gets 135, or 27.6% of the vote. Not bad. What does Nandy get? 16.2% of the vote. Okay. What about Keir Starmer? 56.2 fucking percent. <laughs> Go for the fucking feminism in this one, like. <laughs> and uh, I don't really know how all these election things go. But. <clears throat> oh, God. I mean. You could have done worse, guys. You could have died quicker. I mean. <clears throat> you could have had the other two. But Keir Starmer is the one that will stand the most. Let's say that. It Everyone can stand him a little bit longer. Despite this was the guy who's the Brexit secretary or something like that. And he was the one guy who probably promoted the one fucking idea that killed Labour in the last 2019 election. Which was the second referendum choice. Or the second one because nobody can understand democratic choices if you're in Labour. You couldn't understand 70.4 million people's votes. <clears throat> But this is the guy you elected, so... And if you just hear him during his fucking speech... I mean... I was so bored, I was like... I actually was listening to his speech while looking for my PSP. That's how bad it was. 
I couldn't just go and watch him like Boris. I could watch Boris on the TV, but no. I have to go and look for a games console I haven't played in 15 years. Or 5 years. That's bad. <clears throat> but that was the main one, so... How did the deputy leaders go? Well... Angela Lena is the champion of that one. <laughs> oh, I mean, it couldn't have been any worse, right? Because that one had these like guys. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Um. No one I like there. What about round two? Nah, Ian got kicked out, so that's Scorch Labour out. And then you have. Oh, look at that. The final choice. I mean, I didn't know why Richard was in that because he's quite, what's the word, he doesn't like Jews, what was that video I saw once, he didn't like Jews a lot, he goes xenophobic or whatever the fuck the words are now, and I can't mind who Rosina is, can't mind that at all, but Angela won with 52.6, same as uh, Keir Starmer, so I guess it's a good thing, but I have no idea, but... <clears throat> But honestly, I cannot see Labour coming back from this in a like a good generation because it looks like a lot of the MPs or the government people that are in charge right now, have they nearly gone at all? Remember, these people are still there. There was people that was calling out for Boris Johnson's death. You know, that kind of people, they still exist in the party. But they say they've got rid of all the extremists and all that. Yeah, now you have the extremist socialists instead. You bunch of fucking idiots. But it's okay. You go away. Somebody else will take over. But it's alright. Jeremy Corbyn's gone. We don't have to worry about him anymore. He is gone. His area has been re-elected with somebody else. So. Fine. At least Jeremy Corbyn's gone. So it's not so bad. This is probably the worst piece of reporting I need to do for this. But it's one thing. So. I guess that's it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!